Raider Nation, what's going on? It's Mitchell Renz here, host of the Raiders Sport, and as promised, once I find out why the Raiders ended up not getting a deal done with Cliff Kingsbury, I told y'all I'd be making a video about it. According to a source close to me, the Las Vegas Raiders and Kingsbury, this deal actually fell through late last night, and you know, when you hear some news like that, I'm not going to lie, I had my source reach out to me last night, and I was like, man, I, I find that really, really hard to believe, and I'll kind of wait around here to see if I can get some more information, and then... The news ends up dropping today that Kingsbury is no longer going to be the Las Vegas Raiders OC, which now I can confirm what ended up what happening here was the Raiders were offering Kingsbury a two-year deal, okay? They were offering him a two-year deal. Kingsbury was looking for a three-year deal. And according to my source, basically Kingsbury felt like the Raiders were lowballing him that they weren't giving necessarily what he was hoping for and you know apparently egos and money really got into the mix and this was not said to me by my source however I feel like I'm really good at being able to connect dots on top of that it sounds like to me that Cliff just wants to coach Caleb Williams and when you hear that it really shouldn't surprise you consider the fact that he was the USC quarterback coach this past season. But now, which I have put out on Twitter, Instagram, and if anybody wants to say anything, check the timestamps. I was the first one on this. But when you think about this, uh, Cliff wanted the deal. He didn't get the deal. I also think, though, because Cliff wanted to be a part of Caleb Williams, that unfortunately isn't going to happen. And now I put it out there on social media. You can go check it out. But it sounds like Cliff Kingsbury now is going to be taking a job with the Washington Commanders, which is interesting because if you go back to a few videos that I talked about before, you know, it was reported and, you know, Graf said it too about a week and a half ago that the Commanders could be a team to watch out for to potentially trade up to the number one pick over the Chicago Bears and take Caleb Williams. If you don't remember, Caleb Williams grew up in the D.C. area, like He's a D.C. guy. So if you're Washington, now you have the opportunity. You brought in Dan Quinn. Sounds like you're about to get Cliff Kingsbury to be your O.C. And then you're at number two. I could see them potentially trading up to number one with all the rumors that have recently come out that Caleb doesn't want to be a Chicago Bear. Again, I'm not saying that he doesn't want to be a Chicago Bear. I'm not saying that the Commanders are going to trade up to number one. I'm not saying that Cliff Kingsbury is going to be hired to be the Commanders. But I have done this job long enough to know that when you follow certain things, shit ends up happening. So, I got a source that reached out to me last night. says, sounds like the Cliff deal is breaking up. Then, the news drops today. Cliff Kingsbury no longer going to be the Las Vegas Raiders OC. Then, I report on Twitter and on Instagram that the Raiders were having a negotiation negotiation battle here with Cliff and they wanted to sign him to a two-year deal he was looking for a three-year he wanted more money ended up not going through then I put out on Twitter and social media that according to a source it sounds like Cliff right now and the commanders are having some conversations once you know it now everyone is starting to report that on top of it so it's going to be really intriguing here to see what the Las Vegas Raiders do but the tea leaves tell me this Raiders went a little bit cheap on Cliff Kingsbury which I actually think that if he's your top OC candidate, I'm not really sure how the hell you let that happen. Um, obviously, I wasn't in that room. I wasn't in the conversations, but I do find it to be a, a very strange thing overall. And now the Raiders got to turn their attention, and now they got to go look at some other OC candidates. So if I were to be putting a list together right now of who I believe are the top candidates right now for the silver and black, I said it on Twitter as Hugh Jackson would be a name that I would keep in mind. I'll throw out another name in Frank Reich, Adam Gase. But literally at the time that I am recording this video right now, there there is a report now from Jeremy Fowler, and they're throwing out a name that I can't believe they're throwing out. And I'll be real with you. I know what the Raiders are in their stance with the whole Fred Belindikoff daughter situation. But according to Jeremy Fowler, Luke Getze was considered a strong candidate during the process. If the Raiders hire Luke Getze, I'm going to go effing nuts. It makes no sense whatsoever. He was terrible in trying to get quarterback play together. The name, though, that I'm kind of surprised about here, Eric Bieniemy. Eric Bieniemy, according to Jeremy Fowler, Re Raiders recently spoke to Bieniemy about the OC job. I'm telling you right, right now, when I see that, that makes me a believer that Eric Bieniemy is going to be the Raiders OC because the Raiders want to go with a certain offensive path. They hired Tom Telesco because some of his experience already as a GM with some of his experience already in the AFC West. And if the Raiders want to bring in Eric Bieniemy, I'm telling you right now, from an offensive and offensive standpoint alone, 
Harry Bannerman would be a hell of a get. He would be a hell of a get for the Las Vegas Raiders. And shit, man, let's run it. If Cliff's going to say, see you later, Las Vegas, and he's going to go to the Commanders, then let's take the Commanders current OC and Eric Bieniemy and let's bring them here to Las Vegas and let's run it. Another name that Jeremy Fowler is throwing out there is Vegas also spoke to Pep Hamilton, though that might have been for a positional job. So those are three extra names that Fowler's throwing out there. And again, out of the original OC candidates, that the Raiders originally were looking at were Pep Ham or Pep Ham now I'm all off. Mike Sullivan, Luke Getze, Thad Lewis are the only three names left that the Raiders have actually requested to interview. Remember, they were looking at Zach Robinson. He ended up taking the job in Atlanta. They were looking at Clint Kubiak. He ended up taking the job in New Orleans. They were looking at Cliff Kingsbury and hired him for, it sounds like, a few hours. He now looks like he's going to be going to the Washington Commanders. And there's been other names thrown out there like Chip Kelly. I don't think it's going to be ending up like Chip Kelly. But bottom line is this. Getze is going to be another name. Eric Bieniemy now is a name to throw in there. Pep Hamilton's a name to throw in there. Adam Gase, unfortunately, is a name in there because he's one of the advisors for Las Vegas. On top of that, Hugh Jackson will be a name. And Frank Reich, to me, are your next most likely candidates to be the Raiders' next OC. But if you were looking for what the heck was the reasoning behind why the Raiders and this job did not get done, Raiders didn't offer him enough money. They wanted a little bit of a longer term deal. And at the end of the day, that was enough for both these sides to split up. To make sure that you never miss anything going on around the Raiders, this is why you subscribe. Today's my off day. And today is my only off day of the basically entire week. We're getting prepped to go out to Super Bowl Sunday. We are going to be going out there on Wednesday. If anybody wants to party with Jeremy Chuggs and I for the big game, the link is chatsports.com slash big game. I'm going to say it again. Chatsports.com slash big game. B-I-G-G-A-M-E. If you want to pull up, it's at Ahern. It's going to be all you can eat, all you can drink for $149 for VIP, $99 all you can eat, all you can drink as well. I would just say if you want to actually chill with Chugs and I like, and get on stage, get the VIP package. It is 100% free to enter, and it's 100% free uh, or kid-friendly. Had a Raider fan ask me, is it kid-friendly? If you let your kid watch the Raiders report, the answer to that question is yes. It's going to be a hell of a time. Doors are going to be open at, I want to say, 2 p.m. Pacific time, but... They also told me they might be willing to uh, open it up a little bit earlier to party. The game's going to be on. The food's going to be great. The drinks are going to be flowing. And I really want to be able to sit down and meet a bunch of y'all. But again, the truth of the matter is Cliff wanted three years. Raiders offered him two. They low-balled him. And now it sounds like Cliff Kingsbury is going to be the next OC for the Washington Commanders. For more videos here around the Las Vegas Raiders, make sure you hit that subscribe button, which is this bad boy right here. For even more videos, you can click on this button right here for more vids, or you can click on this button right here for more videos on top of that. I promise you, when the Raiders do finally hire an OC, I will be going live on this channel.